I'm so tired of waking up with my back in pain. Yesterday it was all nice and pretty, perfect temperature, clear skies, you know, pretty. Today, the rain is back. Yeah. On the way to take this one to work. Government vehicle in front of us. I've never even heard of that one. The Ford C Max. That is so weird. That should tell you how much the vehicle still shakes. You can see it in the camera. So I walked in here to get some food out the fridge. And Sassy's in there sitting in the dark with her light with her eyes open. So I finally turned her light on. How's your shedding going today, girl? Did you finally lose that piece? No, it's still there. Every so often you hear her rummaging around trying to get some stuff out. Look at this little arm. <laughs> Sassy. And then there's you. You didn't sleep with us last night. Oh, yeah? You just gonna ignore me like that? And then there's you. And your birthday's tomorrow, Marm. You turn five tomorrow. It's your birthday tomorrow. Yes, it's your birthday. Can't wait to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, you're the good boy. You, not so much. No, you're not a good boy. I definitely have to rearrange this one on the program. <laughs> I, I don't know if y'all can tell, but right there, I'm trying to watch Charles Trippy while I get shit done. I hate it whenever it goes blank. Is it still on? <laughs> the ADHD goes crazy. Okay, got those two. Right back. Having to work on another jersey. <coughs> I think this is, we're dwindling down now. So I'm about to press it, get it all out the package and everything else. And I had to do three different teams. Um, this one is Arizona Cardinals. Surprisingly. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen the Cricut Heat Press, but here it is. And I have it warming up. I have it set on 330 for my vinyl that I'm using. Um, whoa. I like tipping over. <laughs> so, but because I know a lot of people, they have questions about the Cricut Easy Press, and that is the one thing I remember before my friend went and purchased it for me. They sponsored my company and purchased it for me. Um, I had plenty of questions, and one of them was, "Will this work? Is this going to do what I need it to do?" And so far, I've probably pressed about 100 shirts, 150 shirts with it. And I can tell you this much, I've done customer shirts. This is my second round doing jerseys for the Y. I did soccer jerseys during the fall, and now I'm doing flag football jerseys for them. I did, my favorite one I think I've done so far is uh, birthday squad with all the Disney characters on it. I did that in December But my easy press comes in handy. I promise you that Here's my next question. Is it gonna reach this side of the bed? So for any, for any of y'all that have never done any vinyl pressing at all You gotta make sure you got the right one first <laughs> Okay
Okay, and as y'all saw, my machine just cut these out over here. Oh, wait a minute. Y'all can't see that far down. My machine over here, it just cut all these out. So, shouldn't have a problem there. Okay, so this is a little trick I learned from one of the vinyl shops. Take your thing and fold it in half. Increase it where there's not any vinyl. So you know where the middle is. So now if you look, you can see it matches in the middle. Alright. So now the press said it's ready. I still have to put craft paper in. And then we're ready to go. I always put a Teflon sheet on them so you don't fuck up anything that's already on there. And set it down, press the green button, and press. I've learned if I do it on the bed, it's better than doing it on a hard surface because you're able to get more pressure into the vinyl. What are you doing, sir? He literally comes in, walks over there, and gets on top of the box. That's his favorite thing to do, is get on top of that box in here. So, I don't know if y'all figured out, but every afternoon I watch um, CTFXC, which is one of my known vloggers I've watched for years. <laughs> but I just watched the one that's from November 10th of 2018, and they went inside one of the, like, hourly hotels, Oh my god, they had a black light with them, and it was so bad. I couldn't believe that, how unsanitary it is. It's my first time here. My 30th time to 100. <laughs> what did you just say? I said, oh look, Trump's wall's still standing. My neighbors built a fence to like hide all their junk in their yard. <laughs> And one day my mom goes, look, it's Trump's wall. And she's over here like, oh, look, it's still standing. Trump don't need $5 billion. My neighbors did it for him. Exactly. <laughs>